All right, well, I've been sitting here just assembling this long block and I have decided to scrap everything I'm doing. Well guys, welcome back to the channel. We're starting off this video at our Subaru dealership. I need to pick up a part for the Hawk I'm assembling right now. I almost made a very, very critical mistake and I'll show you guys when we get back to the shop. All right, well we made it back to the shop and I had in my last package, I have been waiting for this long block arrive, but here are the parts I had to get from Subaru. Now, I was just doing a quick walkthrough on this long block to make sure I wasn't missing anything so far. And right back here, I noticed I had two ginormous holes on the back of my head. Which obviously should not be there. We would have no oil in this motor if we went to go ahead and start it how it is. Um, I have never worked on a Subaru that is older. Any GD chassis or older, I'm used to my VASTI. So what these are, are the half moons. These holes here are used to line hone. Um, this is how they used to do it back in the day. And you're supposed to have a plug here. On the new motors, you don't have that. That is why I didn't even think to check that. But good thing I went around and did a quick inspection on this motor or else this would have caused us a lot of issues. Thankfully, all we have to do is pop off the valve cover, put some sealants on and get those half moons in. And then we are ready to continue. So let's go ahead and get this motor rotated, pop off the valve cover and install the half moons. So we're gonna grab these, put some sealant on this so it doesn't leak, but they sit uh, just like that. And there we go. We got it all sealed back up. Very, very simple fix. Got the sealant on there and it torqued down the valve cover. So now we can move forward.
And there we go. We have the oil pump all put on, torqued down. And I went ahead and put these oil lines on as well and torqued down. I think it was like 21 foot pounds. I always seem to forget to put this line on before I time everything. And then I have to take everything apart just to put this line back on and then time everything again. But right now we are ready to go ahead and button up the front end and get all the timing components on. But first we need to put on the new water pump. But I bought this fancy kit here that should have everything, including a new water pump. Oh, that's kind of cool. Shows you how to time if you don't know. But right in here is our new water pump. And then here's all of our timing components. New tensioners, idlers, timing belt, um, idler. And then I'm assuming in here, yep, new tensioner in here. So let's go ahead and get the water pump put on. All right, well, we just got the motor timed with all of the new components, new belt, idlers, tensioner, all of the new stuff. Everything is in line, as you guys can see up top. Where's the side one? Oh, down below to the side. The crank is lined up. Everything is lined up. We're gonna wait for this to get tension for a second, and then we're gonna do two rotations to make sure that this thing is still in time.
Now, even if I were to get this motor in this car right now, I would still not be able to run it. And that is because I forgot to order a new exhaust. As you guys know, this crusty exhaust came off and I would honestly reuse this again. Except I don't want to. It's very kind of, it's ghetto and janky. You can't separate the downpipe from the cat back unless I were to cut it off. It is just corroded on there. So what I'm to do is go ahead and order a new downpipe and a cat back for this car. I could technically start without any exhaust, but it's just going to be shooting right into the firewall, which is what I don't want to happen. But here we go, guys. A freshly assembled OEM spec long block. Let's go ahead and get this motor flipped and do some of the oil pan stuff right in front of me. I have a nice lovely package from Killer B and this is a nice pickup and a oil baffle. Now right here, we have a nice Killer B oil baffle with their pickup. People always ask me what mods they should do to their car to keep their motor alive as long as possible. And I always tell people, always get an oil pickup, a new baffle. These stock ones are horrible and are prone to cracking, along with an AOS. So right now, we're gonna go ahead and install the Killer B oil pickup and baffle. And there we go. We have the Killer B pickup and baffle installed, torqued down. I think these were 4.7 and 7.2 foot pounds for the pickup itself. But there we go, guys. I wanna show you guys the comparison between the Killer B versus the stock. But as I went to go look at the so-called stock pickup, it's not stock. This is an aftermarket one as well. I do not know the brand of this one. But yeah, I did not realize this one had an aftermarket pickup. Stock baffle though. All right, well, I've been sitting here just assembling this long block and I have decided to scrap everything I'm doing. This, a lot of these accessory parts are very crusty. Like the engine harness, it's old, it's crusty. Everything is breaking on me as I'm assembling everything. For example, the coolant expansion tank, I set it down and it broke off the nozzle, stuff like that. Granted, this is a 20 year old car. A lot of this stuff is brittle, fragile, it just, is breaking on me and I'm not liking how this is coming out. It looks gross. A lot of the stuff isn't janky, but it's not what I would want in a street car. But also you can see here, like the inlet is cracking. There's holes in it. There's a lot of just weird stuff with this. I could give you guys a hundred different examples, but it's not really needed. So I think the game plan now is to do a mediocre build on this car. But I think the game plan now is to do kind of like my old VA setup. Um, I had an FB Black, except on this setup, we are going to be running a BCP X500R turbo. If you guys follow Josh along, you guys know Justin's White Hawkeye. That is the turbo he was running and made insane power on that turbo. I reached out to BCP many, many, many months ago when I purchased this car to see if they would want to sponsor and send over a turbo for this car. And they sent over their BCP X 500R turbo. 
that I think I am now going to be putting on to this Hawkeye. The whole plan was the BCP Turbo was going to go onto one of the Hawkeyes. Obviously the giveaway Hawkeye, that is, that is a stock car. But then this car, I was going to keep stock as well because I was planning on selling this car to kind of recover some debts from the giveaway. But I wanna do a small street build on here. And I already have a lot of the parts here. Like I just showed you guys, I already have the BCP turbo with all the oil feed lines, stuff like that. They sent over everything for that turbo. And in my little locker here, I already have a full dash six engine bay fuel system. So we will still retain the factory lines, hard lines from the pump to the engine bay. As you guys can see here, that's where the feed and return go. I'm gonna completely scrap this entire PCB system. It's It was done so weirdly. I'm gonna switch over to an IAG AOS. I'm gonna go ahead and replace the turbo inlet as well. I'm gonna go get fuel rails. Um, I already have 1050 injectors, which is plenty for what I'm wanting. Um, yeah, I'm going to pretty much order everything to make this a fun street build. I'm either going to repowder coat this intake manifold, it's very, very crusty, missing paint, or buy a new one, maybe get an AMS, just make the engine bay pop a little bit more. Probably gonna go ahead and get a front mount intercooler. Everything for this car to make like 400, 450 to the wheels, I think that'd be a reliable number, it'd be a fun number. Um, I need to go ahead and upgrade the clutch while I'm at it as well. Probably go ahead and run an ACT clutch, maybe reach out to them to see if they wanna partner up on this build. Um, I don't know if I already said this, the engine harness, I'm gonna go ahead and replace. It's a couple hundred bucks and it's not crusty, janky, and old. And I think it's gonna be more enjoyable for you guys as this was another stock build Hawkeye and I just completed one with the giveaway STI. So I think it's pretty boring to have two Hawkeye stock builds going on the channel. So I think we might as well go ahead and spice things up a little bit and do a fun build. Plus I have been missing having a fun street car for so damn long. I haven't had any of the Hawkeyes on the road. The giveaway Hawkeye is stock. And I don't really drive it because it's in two days, well in like one day when you guys watch this video, the winner will be announced. They'll come take delivery of their new car. Obviously the VASTI, that is a track car now. I don't drive that car in the street, so, plus it doesn't even run, it never runs. So I don't have a car that I can just go drive on the street and enjoy, go out to meet, stuff like that. So I think that is the game plan. I do apologize, I really wanted to get this car running either today or tomorrow, but that's just not gonna happen. Please let me know down below in the comments what you guys want to see done to this car. I already showed you guys the BCP, that is the turbo going on this car. But do you guys wanna see maybe like an AMS? Do you guys wanna see a front mount? How far do you want me to take out this build? But I hope you guys are also excited with this decision. Um, I was just getting pissed off here. It is not fun, at least for someone who enjoys building cars and driving them, to put together an other stock car it doesn't fill that void I have to build a car. So I'm at least happy with this decision. I can imagine you guys are probably happy as well. We get to see a fun dino day with this car and get some fun street videos. But this car is coming out so damn amazing. The body looks amazing. And I'm such a huge fan of these wheels on this car. It does need to get lowered a little bit more. Obviously the front, no motor. It's not sitting exactly where it should. But the car looks so good. I think it's just right to make the engine bay look good as well. I'm not gonna go like super, super crazy with this build, but I think like a 450, maybe like 500 wheel build would be the perfect build for this car. Obviously I'm gonna make the engine bay look amazing now. I'm gonna recoat everything or just buy new stuff. Just make the engine bay pop as well. I'm excited. I'm sorry to kind of blue ball you guys with this like build series, like almost hitting the car to run. Just for me to be like, nope, we're taking a step back and we're doing things a little bit differently. But I think you guys are gonna enjoy it. I know I'm going to enjoy it a lot more. Um, yeah, I want a fun street car. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I'll see you guys in the next one. I think the next video is going to be the Hawkeye STI giveaway video. I'm gonna be calling the winner flying them out here, taking delivery, stuff like that. Make a fun video with that. That should be the next video, but regardless, I'll see you guys in the next one.